Begin by taking a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale with a sigh. Just letting the tension flow out of your neck and out of your shoulders. Another deep breath in. And again, another sigh out. As you continue to make that breathy H sound back of your throat, you'll close your lips, but continue to breathe that way. So you're gonna control your breath. The yogis call it Ujjayi breath. Inhaling, make your breath sound like Darth Vader. Exhaling and do the same. And now guide your breath into your body in a more deeper level as you inhale, feel your rib cage expand like an umbrella would expand. And as you exhale, feel your abdominal muscles shrink wrap and hug your abdominal organs. You begin to activate the core. And throughout the practice, throughout the poses, you're gonna activate those same uh, energies through the breath, inhaling, expanding the lungs, exhaling, using the core, and stretch your fingertips out as far away from you as you can get them, but they're still touching the floor and feel the top of your head draw up toward the ceiling away from those fingertips, and balance the weight of your body evenly between both sides of your seat. And then flip your palms up, inhale, reach your arms up. But don't let your shoulders lift, don't let your collarbones lift, just let your arms reach up to the sky. Some of you will be able to bring your fingertips together, but we don't need that to happen. And exhale, reach the arms down. Lower your chin slightly. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your face. Exhale, lower down. Let's do that twice more. And lift your right arm up and creep over to the left, but root your right seat downward as you stretch that whole right side body and then push into your left hand lift up and then go over to the other side side body stretch one more time through each side feel the the bones of your ribs stretch apart and on this side feel the side waist open up your kidneys good let's take a little twist one hand to one knee opposite knee just look over your shoulder, but keep your sit bones rooted, so don't lean, stay nice and grounded into the floor. Another way. Still breathing. And come to center, let's find tabletop position. So whenever our hands are on the mat, we wanna make sure that there's weight all the way into each of the fingertips and into the knuckle, especially the index finger knuckle. So inhale, lift your face, lift your tail, and let your heart burst through the gate of your arms. And then exhale, push the floor away from you. Scoop your tummy muscles up into your back and tuck your chin into your chest. And go back and forth, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more time. This is Charlie, my cat. And we'll tuck our toes. Stick your rear end up slightly, <clears throat> but make sure you keep your tummy muscles active and then lift the knees and come into downward facing dog. <clears throat> and pedal out your feet as you stretch the calves away from your seat reaching upward. <laughs> and 
watch out for any stray cats that might have wandered across your mat and start walking your feet towards your hands. Now some of you may have some back things going on here, so you're going to keep your knees bent and flatten your spine out and hold on to your legs. Others of you, it just feels fantastic to become this willow tree that drapes over the trunk of your legs and maybe even sway from side to side a little bit. And this is a good opportunity to get rooted into your feet. So you can kind of wiggle your toes around and then lightly place them onto the mat. Make sure you've got a nice prevalent arch in your foot and that you feel some weight all the way into your heels. Now bring your hands to your shin bones and we're going to inhale, come up halfway. We're going to flatten out our spine, pull our shoulders away from the ears, stick your tail out, and then exhale, float back down and into your legs. Let's do that twice more. Come up halfway. Exhale, empty out all the way. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, lift the out down all the way. Now really use your core muscles to help you come to standing because we're going to lift ourselves up. Reach your arms out. And then find something grateful or that you're grateful for. Grab a hold of it and draw it right down into your heart center. Bring your feet to a grounded place underneath you. Pull your shoulders back and down and squeeze in those abdominal muscles as we get ready for a couple sun salutations. Again, watch out for any stray cats that might be on your mat. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, float out, long and down. Now we're gonna come into that half forward fold again, so come up halfway, stick your chest out. Bend your knees, plant your hands, watch out for the cats, and then lower knee down onto the floor. So some of us may need props for this. You're gonna put your hands on blocks. You're gonna maybe bring your hands up to your quadricep for me this afternoon. I'm gonna reach my arms up to the sky and really invite openness across my chest. Now activate your legs here. Make sure we're not just sinking into the pose, but rather using the insides of our legs to squeeze our feet toward each other. So we're really getting stronger while we open up our chest. Exhale, float your hands down onto the floor, underneath your cat's legs if necessary, and then step back. We're gonna be in the top of a plank position. So we can choose to lower those knees if we need to, to help us with this. And then we're gonna bend our elbows, keep them close into our body, and float ourselves down into our kitties. And then inhale, come into a nice low cobra. So we don't want to extend our arms and overstretch our back. We want to keep the elbows bent and squeezing into the ribs while we lift the abdominal muscles up into our body. And then push away from the floor through your knees and revisit downward facing dog pose. Breathe. Inhale. Let the head hang. Let your hands root and your arms tornado spiral away from your thumbs, but yet squeeze in towards your ears. And we're gonna step this right foot forward between our hands. Okay, you need to go. And choose your pose on the other side. Make sure your knee is never beyond your toes here. We always like to have the bones that are on the ground kind of straight up and down like flagpoles. Nice and supportive that way. And hands down. This time the left foot or your back foot is gonna step up to meet your front foot. Exhale down into your nice stretch. The yogis call this Uttanasana. Inhale, come up halfway into an Ardha Uttanasana. And then it's squeezing your core muscles in into a deep fold again. Stand all the way up tall. Reach your arms out and up. And hands down into a prayer. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's step our left foot back but not take the knee down. Bend your right knee over your right heel and reach your arms. I like to call them cactus arms. So if you wanted to get a view from this way, you would 
can see the arms being here. Make sure that knee's not beyond your heel. Strong legs. Open chest. Breathe into the lungs. Activate into the core. Let's do a hamstring stretch. So as you put your hands down onto your thigh, keep the open chest. Step your back foot up a bit, straighten out your front leg, and take a, a walk with your hands down into your shin. Maybe you need to bend things. Maybe we need to um, uh, put some hands on blocks. But try, if we can, not to round the spine, but rather lengthen your spine. Lengthen, 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 and then descend into the fold that works for you. But not rounding into it or lengthening into it. And then hands on the floor. Let's find our plank pose. Much easier without the cat this time. Low plank. So maybe we will use the knees to help us do that. Now let's say we really love straightening our elbows. So we'll do up dog instead, where it'll be just the tops of our feet on the floor. But we'll bend the elbows if we want those thighs touching. Let's roll back and over to down dog. Step left foot forward. Pivot and plant back foot. Cactus arms, spread the fingers, twinkle them. Squeeze your elbows together, pull your knee over your heel, open the chest. Back foot will step up after two more breaths. And the postures are never about how deep we can get into them, but how much space we can find in our own body, space that maybe we couldn't find there before last time we did this pose. So bending, stepping back to plank again. Into that low plank. Into the back bend of your choice. And return to down dog. Make sure your tailbone is reaching for the heavens while your head falls to the floor. Then let's step uh, both of our feet forward. Fold gracefully over those legs. Come up halfway. Descend down all the way. Let's stand up all the way. And hands to a prayer. Let's bring our feet together if that's comfortable for us and bend the knees, reach the arms up, shoulders down the back. Get nice and heavy in your heels. Lift to the abdominals. Now bring your hands to a prayer and we're gonna twist lightly. So don't let the knees shift. We're gonna rotate the spine, just rotate. Maybe get low, but don't let the knees shift. can touch without the knees changing. Go ahead and do so. Back to the center. Change sides. And back to center. Fold over the leg. Halfway up, plant both of your hands, step all the way back. 